Hey everybody, I'm Brandon and I'm very excited today to talk to you about our NVIDIA broadcast app. Like many of you, I've been home a lot more lately. I've been video conferencing all day and then gaming and streaming all night. And I have a very basic webcam and microphone setup. NVIDIA broadcast makes these things supercharged with a lot of new awesome features that really bring it out using the power of AI and RTX GPUs. Uh, the first one I wanna talk about is noise removal. So I've asked my girlfriend to join me with a blow dryer here. And that distracting sound makes it very hard to understand what I'm saying. But when I turn on noise removal in NVIDIA broadcast, you find that it's completely gone and that, that, that blow dryer is still going. But NVIDIA broadcast isn't just awesome audio features. There's some really exciting video features as well. Let's take a look. First up, we have the ability to blur your background, which you may notice that I need because I have a very cluttered and messy room. But when I turn this background blur feature on, all of a sudden I get this really classy effect and I can adjust the strength of that from low to high and everything in between. Or if I want, I can actually replace the background altogether. Now I'm in a space station with the magic of AI. <laughs> it's that easy. Or if I wanna jump into some gameplay, I can remove the background altogether and jump into some Valorant. And now I'm playing with a green screen effect without actually having to have one at home. I don't have to play good, but at least I can look good. Now sometimes when I'm video conferencing or doing a just chatting stream, I wanna zoom in to get a more personal connection with the audience. But the problem is I bounce around so much, it's easy for my head to get out of frame. With the auto frame feature, it's like having your own personal cameraman that follows you wherever you go. So if for example, I wanted to reach over and grab my cool Valorant hat, and show it to everybody, it follows me every step of the way. I just find NVIDIA broadcast to be really exciting as both a streamer and as someone who works from home. The ability to remove distracting noise, improve your background, and keep yourself in the center of the frame are all awesome features in one app, and I just can't wait for you guys to try it. Let me show you some recent works and the art of the possible. The first video is a generative adversarial network that has learned to synthesize virtual characters of any artistic genre, including photorealistic. Second is a neural network that animates a 3D face directly from voice. You require more Vespine gas. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. The AI character can speak in any language, be any gender, and even rap and sing. Third is a character locomotion of infinite number of positions. Imagine negotiating arbitrary paths and obstacles. The fourth is reconstructing 3D from video. Imagine the possibilities. Record video, interact in 3D. This one is a deep learning model that learned the physics behavior of cloth animation. Finally, this deep learning model of ray tracing can predict colors of missing pixels so that fewer rays need to be cast and fewer pixels need to be fully rendered. We can achieve orders of magnitude speedups. The world's first fully path traced, photorealistic real-time graphics. It was running on our highest end Turing Quadro RTX 8000. Turing was doing 720p, 25 frames per second. Today, we're gonna run an enhanced version of Marvels with even more special effects. And it is running at 1440p, 30 frames per second, over four times the performance. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy Marbles at Night.
marbles is entirely path traced. No rasterization, all real time. There are hundreds of area lights, including spherical area lights. There's no pre-baking, everything is dynamic. The depth of field is film quality and beautiful. Everything is dynamic. Diffuse GI, all dynamic. There are hundreds of rigid bodies, 80 million triangles. Materials are physically accurate, physics simulation and volumetric rendering in real time. DLSS 2.0 is doing the super resolution and AI denoising. It is safe to upgrade now. Amazing ray tracing games are coming. Activision and developer Treyarch are launching a new Call of Duty on November 13th. It's a masterpiece and it looks incredible. There are dynamic lights, ray tracing, shadows and ambient occlusion, DLSS 2.0, and NVIDIA Reflex super low latency technology. 
the last Call of Duty sold an amazing 30 million copies. Activision put together this trailer of never before seen footage. Enjoy. I've never been more excited to do anything. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No way. This is f***ing incredible, dude. This is amazing. Oh, the resolution on this is silly. My god. You can see wear and tear on the treads. Look at this. Why is it so detailed? All right, all right, all right, all right. Move fast and shoot things. This is 8K, sir. I can see everything. Oh, I need to shoot you, though. Not a whole lot of people have seen something like this. This is so realistic. I feel like I'm really in battle. This is insane. Die, I want to look at the pretty things. There we go. Dude, the ray tracing is insane on this. These are the sizzle reels that you see. This is basically hacks. And then it's like, it'll never look like that. But it does. <laughs> I'm like looking across the vistas, the grand vistas that are happening right now. Holy sh! Look at this. This feels like a Disneyland experience. Oh, it is so smooth. It's butter. Oh, it's smoothish, dude. I can't believe it's not butter. I mean, this is game changing. There's no other way to put it. My mind is blown, dude. 